All right, guys, another day on Project Restore Ford. Uh, like the video I posted last night, I was sitting on the side of the interstate. Uh, I just assumed ignition module. It's bad. Da, da, da. On my truck, it's over on the firewall, where most of them are on the distributors, I guess, the earlier years. So I changed it. Now, they tested it, and it did test bad. So I thought, boom, I got it. Well, put it on, truck still wouldn't start. Uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's I, I try not to just throw money at a problem because I don't really have it. So I had 12 volts at the coil. I had 12 volts down at the distributor, but I had no fire. I had absolutely no spark. So I wanted to show you guys something on this ignition coil, which I'll have my lovely assistant, Miss Reagan, help me here. If you, and it doesn't really matter, uh, if you cross these two, you won't do any damage. You should still get a reading. You can see Reagan's doing pretty good there. Okay. You see how there's nothing there? That's the meter set at 200K. That should be between like 7 or 10. I don't have Ford's exact numbers. And then if you drop your meter down to 200, Reagan, touch these two. Okay. Make sure they touch. Oh. Nope. There you go, right there. Okay. You should get a real small reading there. Uh, maybe just 0.6. You can see there's just nothing there. This thing is just completely dead. So I changed out the coil. All right, Reagan, stand clear. Let's see if the truck starts. Hold the meter. All right. And stand over by the mailbox because I don't want to hit you. Come on, big Ford. <laughs> Hey! She's back up and running. Let's go take a look. Take a listen. Take a listen. Roll the window down. I don't want to lock my keys in. All right. I went ahead and did the cap and rotor and, and all that nonsense. Everything should be good to go. Uh, you can see I've done all kinds of idle air control. Throttle position sensor down there too. She sounds real good. All right, man. Hopefully this will help out some people before you just go and throw money at a problem. The meter is your friend. In this case, if I would have used it a little earlier, I probably could have saved 50 bucks. But, uh... To be honest with you, it never hurts to have some new ignition parts. So I'm going to get back to work on this bad boy because I have neglected her. I think she is jealous of the Beamer with the tail light that's half sticking out. Uh, all right. Cool deal. Yeah, it's not even a factory Ford coil. More videos to come, guys.